patitam gagana sadrisham tatvamasya dilakshyam ekam nityam vimalam machalam sarvade sakshibutam bhava Sadgurum Dham Namami Full of bliss Giving joy transcendent Of higher knowledge The abode Do all no more Clear as the heaven Everlasting seer of all, far, far beyond qualities and thought, Guru Lord, I bow to Thee, Guru Lord. This next chant is desire my great enemy, which I like to visualize is a dialogue between Arjuna and Krishna on the great battlefield of Kurukshetra. And like that moment of the Bhagavad Gita, let's cry out to the Lord, O Lord, what will be my fate? Pranayam be thy religion, pranayam will give thee salvation. And I'll repeat the chorus of every verse three times, so even if you don't know it, you'll be able to join in. And Yogananda said this chant was specifically to bring you to a state of complete freedom from all material desire. Desire, my great enemy, with his soldiers surrounded me, is giving me lots of trouble. giving me lots of trouble, my Lord. That enemy I will deceive, remaining in the castle of peace, night and day in thy joy, oh my Lord, night and day. Is 
cosmic world Control the little pranayam Become more pervading pranayam You won't have to fear anything anymore You won't have to fear anything Enemy with his soldiers surrounded me he is giving me lots of trouble, oh, my Lord. He is giving me lots of trouble, oh, my Lord. That enemy I will deceive, remaining in the castle of peace. And day in thy joy, oh my Lord, night and day in thy joy, oh my Lord, night and day in thy joy, oh my Lord, what will be my fate? Salvation. Pranayam is the wishing tree. Pranayam is the wishing tree. Pranayam is the wishing tree. Pranayam is beloved God. Pranayam is Creator Lord. Pranayam is the cosmic world. Pranayam is the cosmic world. Pranayam is the cosmic world. Control the little pranayam. Become more pervading pranayam. You won't have to fear anything anymore. You won't have to fear anything anymore. You won't have to fear. Desire, my great enemy, with his soldiers surrounding me, is giving me lots of trouble, oh my Lord, is giving me lots of trouble, oh my Lord, what will be my fate? religion pranayam will give thee salvation pranayam is the wishing tree pranayam is the wishing tree Beloved God, Pranayam is Creator Lord, Pranayam is the Cosmic World, Pranayam is the Cosmic World, Pranayam is the Cosmic World.
cosmic world. Control a little pranayam, become more pervading pranayam. You won't have to fear anything anymore. You won't have to fear anything To fear anything anymore, you won't have to fear anything anymore. You won't have to fear anything anymore. Night and day in thy joy, oh my Lord. Night and day in thy joy. that work? Maybe we can exit out. Thank you, Keisha. That was so beautiful. So beautiful. Um, so this chant <laughs> is, <clears throat> um, I'm trying to see Heather. There we go. <laughs> this is Hare Krishna. <clears throat> and it's a bit of a, a mood swing from where we just were, so I, I hope it's not too abrupt. <laughs> Oh, my. 
Talk about a change. I know, it was right. radical, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but we're going right back into something really quiet, mellow. This is a tambura. It has been with our sangha for about 15 years. And when Scotts Valley closed down, it came home with us. So, uh, and Julius and Teresa brought it back from India. Yes. Beautiful melodic sound. Receive me on thy lap, O oh mother. Cast me not at death's door. Receive me on thy lap, O oh mother. Cast me not at delusion's door. Receive me on thy lap, O oh Mother, cast me not at death's door. Receive me on thy lap, O oh Mother, cast me not at delusion's door. Kole tule ne makai kare kule de shino fele kole tule ne makai kare kule de shino fele Receive me on thy lap, O oh Mother. Cast me not at death's door. Receive me on thy lap, O oh Mother. Cast me not. At delusion's door, receive me on thy lap, O oh Mother. Cast me not at death's door. Receive me on thy lap, O oh Mother. Cast me not at illusion's door. tule ne makali. Kale kole te shina fe. Kole tule ne makali. Kale kule dashina fele Receive me on thy lap, O oh Mother Cast me not at death's door Receive me on thy lap, O oh Mother Cast me not at delusion store.
just as we are calling out to Divine Mother, let's remember as a great, great saint said, that which you are seeking is also seeking you. And with that in mind, let's listen to or sing along with me in this song of Swami Kriyananda's God's Call Within. And really this is from the perspective of the Divine. This is God whispering to us to come home. Dreaming, 
O my saint, wake up, reclaim the light, seek the truth behind all seeming. Turn, turn, turn within, in silence of soul, in cave of love, find my Thank you. Without meditation, mind, hither, thither, wanderest thou. Without meditation, mind, hither, thither, wanderest thou. Adorable him, adorable him, search him out in Secret now, search him out in secret now, floating on the breeze of bliss in that chariot of sky, peering into his eyes with thy diving eye, floating on the breeze of bliss in that chariot of sky, peering into his eyes with thy diving and petals, nectar, drink, drink and drink, drink. Thousand petals, nectar, drink, drink and drink, drink. With cosmic mighty own, deeper do thou sing. With cosmic mighty own, with cosmic mighty own, deeper do thou sing. Without meditation, mind, hither, thither, wanderest thou. Without meditation, mind, hither, thither, wanderest thou. Adorable him, adorable him, search him out in secret now. Search him out in secret now. Of this in the chariot of sky, with thy diving eyes, lurking on the breeze of this in the chariot of sky, peering into his eyes with thy diving eyes, thousand petals nectar drink, drink and drink, drink, thousand. Petals, nectar, drink, drink and drink, drink, with cosmic mighty young, deeper do thou sing, with cosmic mighty young, with cosmic mighty young, deeper do thou sing, deeper do thou 
of sin Without meditation mind Hither, thither wanders thou Without meditation mind Hither, thither wanders thou Adorable him Adorable him Search him out in secret now Search him out in secret now Floating on the breeze of this In the natural top sky Peering to his eyes With thy diving eye Floating on the breeze of this In the natural of sky Peering to his eyes With thy diving eye Floating on the breeze of this In the natural of sky of sky, peering to his eyes with thy diving eye. Thousand petals let me drink, and can drink, drink. Thousand petals let me drink, drink and drink, drink. Thousand petals let me drink, drink and drink, drink. Thousand petals let me drink. Drink and drink, drink, with cosmic mighty on. Deeper do thou sing, with cosmic mighty on. With cosmic mighty on. Deeper do thou sing, deeper do thou sing. With cosmic mighty on. With cosmic mighty on.
This selection comes from the Holy Science by uh, Sri Yukteswarji, uh, Yogananda's guru. Yogananda had selected this at the end of the book, and it's a short poem uh, from the Lay of the Last Min Minstrel by Sir Walter Scott. And it goes, love rules the court, the camp, the grove, the men below and the saints above, for love is heaven and heaven is love. Thank you. And let's all uh, consciously ascend into that heaven of love together with this next chant, which is Yogananda's In the Land Beyond My Dreams, which he said was specifically for coaxing our consciousness into consciously leaving, exiting this material plane and ascending in God. So let's feel that that's just what we're doing together. Heart 
heart to heart meeting, spirit and souls greeting, heart to heart meeting, spirit and souls greeting in the land beyond my dreams. In the land Ark is waiting, and I am dreaming. The ark is waiting, and I am dreaming. The ark is waiting, and I am dreaming of the land beyond my dream. No sorrow come, nor death dare enter. Where no sorrow come, nor death dare enter. In the land beyond my dreams. In the land beyond my dreams. To this paradise the ark will rise. To this paradise the ark will rise. To the land beyond my dreams. To the land. Come and go in dreams dwell where no clouds come and go in dreams dwell I sit by life's well in the land beyond my dreams in the land. is waiting and I am dreaming the ark is waiting and I am dreaming the ark is waiting and I am Thank you, Keshava. Spectacular. In this world, Mother, no one can love me. In this world, they do not know how to love me. In this world, Mother, no one can love me. In this world, they do not know how to love me. Where is their pure loving love? 
where is there truly loving me? There my soul longs to be, ma. There my soul longs to be. In this world, mother, no one can love me. In this world, they do not know how to love me. In this world, mother, no one can love me. In this world, they do not know how to love me. Where is their pure loving love? Where is their truly loving me? There my soul longs to be my, there my soul longs to be. In this world, Mother, no one can love me. In this world, they do not know how to love me. In this world, Mother, no one can love me. In this world, they do not know how to love me. Where is their pure loving love? Where is their truly loving me? There my soul longs to be, ma. There my soul longs to be. Where is their true loving Mother, no one can love me. In this world, they do not know how to love me. In this world, Mother, no one can love me. In this world, they do not know how to love me. Where is
depths of slumber as I ascend the spiral stairway of wakefulness I will whisper fast of nightly separation from thee I will taste thee and mentally say God 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 no matter where I go spotlight of my mind will ever keep turning on me and in the battle din of activity my silent war cry will be storms of trials shriek and when worries howl at me I will drown their noises loudly chanting God, God, God when my mind weaves dreams dreams with threads of memories on that magic cloth will I emboss God God Every night in time of deepest sleep When my peace dreams and calls joy, joy My joy comes singing evermore Sleeping, serving, meditating, chanting, divinely loving. And my soul will constantly hum, unheard by any.
close now with healing prayers. So take a moment to bring to mind all those we know who are in need of God's healing energy, family and friends. See them clearly at the point between the eyebrows, surrounding them in light and opening yourself to be a channel for the healing energy to flow through you to them. Let's visualize also, send healing energy to the leaders of this country, to all those affected, and impacted by COVID, by the pandemic. To all those souls in need right now of God's light, of God's love. Let's picture the whole world surrounded in light. And let's pray together. Divine Mother, thou art omnipresent. Thou art in all thy children. Manifest thy healing energy, thy light and love in all these bodies, minds, and souls. And let's rub our hands together and chant Om three times, sending out the light healing energy into this needful world. Shanti. Amen. Thank you all for joining us. It's been a wonderful, wonderful evening. And I don't know if uh, if Keshava is still on. He did tell me that he had another engagement. He's a, a busy boy. But we're really appreciative of him coming on and now we will open up our cameras and mics and we can share in sat song it looks like we asha nice swami's with us <laughs> see you're there and um anyway anybody who wants to to join in and say hi and share a little bit it was really special oh my gosh <laughs> hi asha you're, you're, you're muted. muted there. Hi, Asha. <laughs> I just came in to say hello. I didn't want to run away without saying hello and goodbye. Yeah. Oh, it's so sweet to have you join us. <laughs> uh, I was I was sitting in the temple just before you started and dashed home and turned it on. It's sort of goofy. 
you know, I could have been in place anyway. Here we are. <laughs> These are well, the worlds we live in. Hello, Dina Not. How very nice to see you. Likewise, Asha. I'm trying to see you, but I can't get into into gallery mode. But I can <laughs> hear you. It's wonderful <laughs> to hear you. <laughs> Thank you. Lovely. Very, very nice to share with you. So I'm a little bit of a busy girl too, so I'll <laughs> I'll go away. But well, thank, thank you for blessings. joining us. We really are. appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. Thank you for blessings. the beautiful music, wonderful meditation. It's just a pleasure to have your company. All right, you come anytime. Nice <laughs> yes, I'll, I'll drop in anytime. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye. Gosh, she looks like so many good. Gosh, my ah. video isn't working, so I can just talk, but I can't. Uh, I can't get it on today, so sorry about that. Oh, okay. Well, well nice. we're glad that's a, lovely, that's a lovely profile picture you, that you have, though. <laughs> well, yeah, a few few years old, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, well, you couldn't tell. Oh, I, I also particularly like Sam and Pam's profile picture on, on that you, you've got on the on in your in Zoom. That's that's. That's a nice. That's a, nice, that's a great one. That's yeah, a nice picture. that's I like nice. it. Pam doesn't like it. No, I don't like it anymore. Really? I don't like. I like it. Well, I just don't like it. It's okay. I'm it's the one who took it. I like it. Better than a lot of others. <laughs> so how is everyone? I I think we should all awake and ready. Oh, I'm sorry, wrong <laughs> service. <laughs> good night. I'm good. What, I'm good. You were gonna. You, weren't you gonna good say night, something? Priya. I, I was. I was going to say maybe we should surprise each other next Friday, and um, I'm not really going to do this, but find a picture from 20, 30, or 40 years ago, <laughs> and then just put it up. Oh, that's a great <laughs> idea. Oh, I like it. Wouldn't that be fun? That that's would a great be fun. Idea. I'm I'm not sure if I know how to do that, but if anybody wants to do it, do it. I'll I'll, I'll help you out with that. Oh, great. <laughs> it's okay. really scary. Just, we have just, one. Does she send the picture to you, or how would no, she no, do it? She'd have to do yeah. it on, oh, okay. on her own account. But uh, uh, or the baby picture. anyway, we'll see if we're going to do that. If anybody wants to surprise us, I'm going to go as I usually do. Okay. Yeah. Nice to see you, Supriya. Oh, it's always thanks, wonderful. Supriya. Yeah, oh, thanks, it's Supriya. Been a wonderful, wonderful evening. Thank you all. <laughs> thanks for the reading, Alex. That was great. Yeah, that was great. Thank you. Thank you what for putting up with on? me. What, what, what page right, is that? I think it was page 96, I think. I'll look okay. quick. Maybe maybe you can seven. do that on a regular basis, Alex. It's a, yeah. it's a nice addition. Yeah. yeah, very nice. Very nice. I liked it. You can look through whispers or any, you know, songs of the soul or whatever, you know. There's lots of places. Yeah. That'd be great. <laughs> So what's everybody's plans for Thanksgiving? Going traveling? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, going to travel from this room to <laughs> that room over there, then maybe all the way that other room over there. <laughs> okay, we'll be sure to mask up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, seriously, is anybody just what 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 how's everybody gonna do it this year? I have cataract surgery. Oh, that's right, yeah. And I'm not going anywhere. I'm, yeah. I'm staying. I want to be healthy. No COVID's for me. <laughs> yeah. Well, when, when is your surgery again, Sam? Cataract. The first of December. No, when? Oh, when? Oh, first of December. Tuesday. Okay. Okay. Tuesday after Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's Tuesday. I, Tuesday. I love that word tu Tuesday. That's a generational word. Only people over a certain age say it that way. As, say it's, what? It, my mom always said Tuesday. Tuesday. You know? Instead Tuesday, of, Tuesday, yeah. Instead of Tuesday. Tuesday. It's regional. Tuesday, it's yeah. Sicilian. Tuesday. It's Sicilian. It's Tuesday. It's the day after Tuesday. Monday. Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> How do you it's say Wednesday? The day before Wednesday, don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, Alex, you guys, will you have family at your place? Because you've got a big family around there. Alex? She's talk talking to you, Alex. 
Oh, sorry. Uh, you know, not much, not much is going on here. We're just going to have a small family get together. Just uh, seven of us. So <laughs> do, you, do you usually have a really big one with all the relatives around? For Thanksgiving, we usually don't gather very much, many people. Oh, okay. Usually, like Christmas, we'll have more like 25, which is like my mom and all the brothers and sisters and first cousins and stuff. So, mm. I think I'm going to open up a Zoom room and, and, and send it out. Our, our, my family has got a Facebook page, and there's several hundred on it. <laughs> and so I thought what I do is I just post a, a Zoom. I'll open up a room sometime at Thursday, probably nine o'clock or so Thursday morning, and I'll just let it run all day and let people just come in and visit and chat. And That's a disappear. nice idea. That's a real nice and, idea. And then just you know they could. I'll put I'll put a camera in my kitchen so they can watch me cook. <laughs> but that'll be you know I think it would be fun. That's a good idea. That's a nice idea. Well, it's kind of like dropping over to the neighbors for a few minutes and then going on and seeing somebody else. Yeah. That would be cool if a lot of people did that and you could just yeah. sort of drop in on people. Yeah. yeah. My relatives are all over the world. So um, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure my Irish relatives, they did probably don't do a whole lot of Thanksgiving celebration, but they are my relatives. So any excuse for a party. They'll be eating. <laughs> hmm. Well, this isn't, we couldn't get this together for Thanksgiving enough, but I did want to bring up that, uh, I don't know if you saw our newsletter, but we, we want to do, we're going to do this, and I wanted to really include you guys in on this if you were interested. Um, we're going to do this evening of remembrance and gratitude, uh, the second Saturday in December, and that's, you know, Portland did it, and I talked to Lorna about it. It was so special. It's where people um, can bring, or well, they they would send us pictures of loved ones or friends that have passed on, and it doesn't have to be recent. It can be, you know, whatever. And we put it in a slideshow, and then anybody who and we do the astral ascension. Um, it's it's a really nice program. Oh, but that it's would sort be of a, beautiful. Yeah, it's like a group astral ascension. Oh, and then, that would be so beautiful. Yeah, I and, love and that you get idea. to share. If you want to share, you can share about your person, you know, or person. And, and you... well, you'll you'll send it out to all of us, eh? An invitation. Yeah. Or... In fact, um, I'll I'll put it. It's it was in our newsletter, but you may not be on our newsletter. But I'll put it in our on the WhatsApp, and then um, uh, you know, Sam can, and and Robin can forward it to. And, and well, Beverly too. I think, I think you guys are on our newsletter. But at any rate, I'll make sure you guys get it. But I'd love to have, That'd you know, great. Monterey Bay and whoever. It would just be real special energy. And I don't know with the holidays coming and all the stuff that's happened to everybody. And I don't know. It just felt like it's just a time to I don't know somehow yeah. do that. That's I think wonderful. that's December fifth, isn't it? Yeah. Pardon? December 5th, that'll be two years to the day since Christy died. Oh, oh yeah. No, but that, but the second Saturday is not the, oh, oh on December 5th. Oh, I yeah, see. Yeah, wow. 5th, yeah. Ah, yeah. right. Yeah, it's, I love it's, that idea. Yeah, There's so a lot of this, stuff coming up here. There's a lot of stuff coming up here that why we're talking things to do. Um, we will do hey, our... Friends, I have to go. I've got it. I've got to be someplace at quarter to at quarter tell, so I've got to go. Okay. Namaste. Okay. Thank you. I'll so send much. you that information, Dean and I. Please put me on the newsletter. I don't know if there's qualifications to be on the newsletter, but if I qualify, put me on the newsletter. Oh, there's no qualifications. As <laughs> okay. long as I have your, put your email in the chat, the WhatsApp, okay. so I, I know what it is. I, I may All or right. may not have it. I don't remember. Okay. All right. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'll be in touch. We're going to do Kirtan. Um, Sunday morning kirtan on the 29th. Ninth. Oh, last, last Sunday. Yeah. Last Sunday. Mm -hmm. That's a week from this Sunday. A week yes. from this Sunday. Yes. So it's a, yeah. it's a Sunday morning kirtan. Yeah. Um, but we're going to do a regular kirtan next, next week. 
the Friday after well, Thanksgiving? Well, we were planning on it, but the, the Friday oh. after that, we won't because that's when the, the uh, Kriya is. The Kriya, yeah. That's so is, that, is it, next Friday okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I just wanted to make sure that we were all in tune that, that there's a Kriya on December 4th. Yeah. Friday. Yeah, we won't do it then. And, um, but next week we will. And we, there's no guests for next week. So just BS chickens. <laughs> I missed you not chanting tonight. Yeah. Well, it, you know, I really wanted Keisha to be able to, Keisha to be able to, to chant and sing. And, and then, you know, ends up we had a lot more people that were, you know, I mean, we haven't seen Susan forever. And, and, and I was Dina not on last week. I can't remember now. I think it was just us three last week. We yeah. were scrambling yeah, to keep it great. all together. So mm -hmm. Supri and I just said, well, you know, let's not do it. And it, you know, there really wasn't room. If I really wanted, Keisha is such, he's just so, he's got such a great, energy and voice and everything i i had sent him an email yesterday and said oh can you do this and this and this and he never read the email <laughs> so <laughs> it, he, he came on it at, at uh uh four four o'clock your time that was the first connection we had with him we hadn't even done a sound check and he wasn't he couldn't do the sound check at the time so i was like i was felt a little like oh and so we talked about the songs because I was going to have him play the cello, but he didn't have the cello with him. So he couldn't do that. And um, anyway, it was just sort of scrambling there a little bit. And then and then at the last moment, we see that Dina Knott and Susan are coming on. I was like, oh, OK. <laughs> anyway. Uh. <laughs> but it was fun. It was a, it was it was a magnificent evening. It was beautiful. Yeah, yeah it was great. So, but um, yeah, so I was, uh, you, you have to remind me about that Sunday because I might, my brain is just, woo, you know. Just I will be sending put, out an email. I, I will send out an email. Yeah, or to, just on the text, you know, ch on the chat, or the WhatsApp is fine. Yeah, you, I'll, you, I'll get it. You, it's just you that I- WhatsApp I, stuff. I do emails. <laughs> well, you do WhatsApp. You did it. You, you, you reply on I there. I don't like it. I don't oh, like that. Oh, well, that's like different. To do the texting. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'd rather do an email. Oh, but in any case, um, yeah, I'll, I'll send something out. I'm, we're gonna, I'll sit down with with our local musicians and see what they want to do, and uh, and then we'll put together a program. And and I really want would like you and maybe even Sapria. Well, and, Sapria said she would do it yeah. as well, and so did Susan. So I'm going to hold all three of you. To yeah. It. And then we'll, we'll try to get Dean Noth to do something for us, and and uh, it might be an hour and a half kirtan. Okay. Let's see. I'm trying to think. I guess there's nothing else going on that day. Didn't you have? Did you? There was something you were. Maybe it was this past Su weekend. It was yeah. Oh, Susan, Susan, yeah, Susan so. is, was on her something about go, having to go to work, but I thought if she comes on one of the or the first ones, then it won't yeah. interfere with her schedule. Yeah, I'm trying. I don't think we have anything else planned. We just have Saiganesh on beforehand. Yeah. Yeah, he's the one that's on, and then this weekend is Kalidas. And. Um, yeah, what, Alex, weren't you the one that recommended Kalidas? Yeah. There you go. And we're, and we're going to have some, some an, Baba on too. He's a Vedic astrologer. He's very, very good with uh, knowing what's going to happen with the planetary energies and stuff. So we maybe will get a little bit of a reading on what's going to happen with the election or the nation. Who knows? Yeah. Well, I, we might I have. You might have a little bit of a, you know, with the, there's a big transit coming up. It's like the uh, Jupiter Saturn alignment on the solstice on the 21st of December is coming up. It's Ooh, huh. something that all the astrologers are talking about. It's supposed to be really big and uh, fundamentally change us energetically. So I don't know. Hopefully he talks a little bit about that. I don't, I don't know what he's going to talk about, but. 
You know, well, too many, I'd like too to be things. fundamentally changed. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, the, when the planets get aligned like that, often there's earthquakes. So, you know, I might. Maybe that would or be. Other, or other things. They, they said that when, when stuff like that happens too, that there could be a political assassination or something like um, that. So stop that, that kind of talk. <laughs> well, that's hey. just not kind of one of those things where when the when the planets align, this energy is different. So people are do stupid stuff. <laughs> I wanted to tell you, Alex. I don't have a picture of it. I, I don't want to go out in the kitchen and get it, but I, I harvested this past week. Oh, my, my, my pathetic little garden. All I planted, well, oh. I planted tomatoes and those just didn't go well, but I, I planted thought... some, why not? Well, I'm not exactly sure. Um, between critters and probably poor placement uh, and not enough water or something, but, but I did, I did succeed in a whole bushel of sweet potatoes. I harvested a nice. whole bunch of sweet potatoes. So just in Very time for nice. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Sweet potato you pie. Take them with marshmallows? Uh. Marshmallows and honey? Uh. <laughs> so no, oh. sorry. I never did like those things like that. Sweet oh. potato pie. Sweet potato pie but, but I, whipped cream on it. Oh, mama. I don't even, I don't waste <laughs> them on the pie either. But what I do is I, I chop them, uh, I mean, I slice them real thin and I do a, a, a ginger, cranberry, date kind of, it's a little healthier version. Yeah. yeah. You know what's really good too is sweet potato home fries. Oh, I like and those too. Home fried potatoes. But just use the sweet potato, and it's more. How do you more... do that? You, you you know how to make home fries. You slice up the potatoes, and you just cook them in butter and salt and pepper. I like to put a little nice brown and crispy. Turmeric, a little bit of turmeric, and a little bit of ginger with my sure. salt and pepper. So it, I kind of get a little bit of, uh, I don't know. Yeah, but sweet potato. Anti sweet inflam. Potato, sweet potato home fries is the next best thing. To sweet potato fries, which is the next best thing to sweet potato pie. <laughs> oh, hmm. oh Lord. <sighs> we haven't eaten well, yet. Well, so. so great to see you guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you made it. Last week. And I'm mm -hmm. glad you read too. That worked out well. I mean, lots of times in kirtans, uh, you know, normal kirtans, we do readings. And you know, just didn't even think about it with this one, but that was worked out really nice. Well, I'm glad it worked out. Thank yeah. You. So I did something, Alex. I looked up the city that you had on your Facebook page, and mm -hmm. and and uh, on Google Earth, and All I right. and swooped down to look at where you live. Oh, man! I, I, you really do have a Canadian accent. You are what? Just what? 20 miles away from the Canadian border? Mm hmm Yeah. Hey, hey get up there, eh? <laughs> I mean, yeah. you're closer. Yeah. What is it? What was it? Um, not Calgary. What was the city that you were close Vancouver? by? Winnipeg. 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 <laughs> yeah, you're closer to Winnipeg than anything else in the States. Yeah. Oh, Lordy. Yeah. Well. So hey. do you have snow right now? Yep. Yeah. Wow. How mm -hmm. much? Only a couple of inches, just two, two or three inches. So is everything put away for the winter? Are you all ready? Yeah, we wrapped it up a couple of weeks ago and then I took a 10 day vacation. So it was so really, good. it was doing? really good. To, I don't know. I'm trying to get my life together. I got a bunch of stuff. I'm kind of in limbo. I'm trying to sell some land and trying to I want to start an organic farm and I haven't been able to do that. So. Well, you I've can't do it in the winter time, right? No, but I can do all the financing and all the oh. paperwork and the meetings with the bankers and the taxes and the, all, you know, there's a lot more that goes into running a business than just the work on the ground. So. Oh yeah. Planning and planning and uh, I don't know, like, putting up a business plan and 
kind of a working out all the kinks before you even go out there and get try to do anything. So, well, it's good will you be doing it right? Go ahead. Yeah. Will you be doing it right there in Winnipeg? Close a, to Winnipeg. We're, we're an hour. Oh yeah, we're an hour south of there. We have the best. Uh, I don't know soil in the nation, but it gets you know cold so fast. So it's yeah. We go. We only have about uh, I don't know about six to seven months of growing time. So you know. <clears throat> And then the rest of the time it's frigid or, you know, below 30 degrees. So, you know, nothing grows right. for four months. Well, you have your built-in refrigeration. You harvest your crops and you just, <laughs> they're refrigerated yeah. well, all naturally. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. good. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so uh, how did the uh, the land? What well, was the last time we saw you, Mitra? You were about to leave to go look at. Oh some... yeah, well, um, yeah. It 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 was good. I mean, it was it was you know this, you got to just do a lot of this stuff. But she actually picked six properties. We only got to three. That was about as <laughs> much as I wanted to do. Oh wow! And the first two, um, I just immediately went. Eh. Although other people were sort of excited about it. I was like, oh man, I'm not doing this. Cause they were all, they were, it was too much work. You know, it's like, I'm not into, this is me, but I'm not into buying a piece that isn't just like ready to go, right? Uh, I think right now we need that. That's what I'm looking at. So the third, so the first two, um, they were good, but they just, the, the, the houses, the houses themselves, needed a lot of work and it's almost better to start from scratch than sometimes than to have to remodel some of those old pieces of property you know so mm -hmm. anyway i crossed i personally crossed those off my list and then uh, but the third one uh i thought showed a lot of promise it was 10 acres and um and it was it was uh you know quiet and it had a mixture of, you know, trees and open area. And the house was gorgeous, you know, had plenty of bathrooms. <laughs> and, uh, and then they had a separate building that was, I guess, it, and they have a pool too. That, and so the separate building is like a big sort of mother-in-law suite, but it's pretty open. I mean, it is all open. It's like one big room with, at one end, it had a had a you know kitchenette at one root end but it wasn't sectioned off and then it had a bathroom so that had a lot of potential for you know either that could possibly be you know the temple space because it was pretty big or it could just be another place for people to live but that one had you know four bedrooms and four bathrooms wow. and um you know, and it was it was nice. It was a nice piece of property, but uh, we haven't done anything more this week. I haven't talked to the gal, the realtor, the gal who who took us to them, and I don't know if we'll. I think she. I, I think she's going camping this weekend. I don't know. I have to contact her. It's been a really busy week, so. You know, I just feel like we're in the process. You know, I I, I can't imagine because because. It's, I, I mean, I don't even know how it's all going to unfold. If we found something that was just perfect and got everybody excited, uh, we still have to get money together. And, you know, although I have to say the one, there's this one gal in our, um, in our Sangha who's sort of, I call her our one legged stool because she's, she's very generous and she's not like, she's not super wealthy or anything like that, but she's very generous. And when she saw this, she didn't come to the third house. I wish she'd come to the third, but when she saw the second house, she was, oh, well, maybe I can get my husband and we'll, we'll, we'll invest in this and we'll buy it. And it's like, huh, okay. Because I figure it's not gonna be one person. <laughs> I don't think it's actually a really good idea to have one person anyway. People have to have skin in the game. So yes. yeah, that's anyway. A whole side you have to think about like, would you do it as a, as an association or as a, a co-op or 
how would that work legally? You know, that's another. I think we would do it as a, um, as you know, get a group together of investors and invest, and then people would, you know, the center would rent from the investors and the people who live there would rent, would contribute to the mortgage, you know, but the initial, you know, payment or whatever would be not, it would be, it would be private people. I think that's the way most of these communities have happened for better or worse, but I can't see that we would be able to do it any other way. Yeah. I didn't know would you and Mark live there? Well, it's a big question. We want to live in community. And, mm -hmm. you know, I just keep telling Divine Mother, you've got to make it clear if you want us to stay in Dallas. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, we want to live in community. I got, I, this one house that we looked at a week ago or two weeks ago that was, um, it wasn't, well, anyway, it was on only on an acre of land and there could only be one other building possibly put on it. But that house was so amazing and it was so well loved and it had beautiful gardens and everything. But really? it was it was one and a half million dollars because <laughs> it's oh, right wow. here, it's, it's close in. And mm -hmm. uh, I could visualize myself living there really <laughs> easily. <laughs> 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 but and it was right across from a park and everything too but at any rate that that i don't think is going to happen but you know these other there's there's stuff out there there's definitely stuff out there and you know what's interesting is i was on the because we we are we invested in laurelwood which you know they're selling and i was on a zoom call just before the kirtan and they say there is a ton of interest right now in, in that area in Laurelwood, they were actually sort of pleasantly surprised. And I think it's just that a lot of people are looking for land outside the cities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but that, that's really happening. Yeah. Well, that's, that's kind of happened here too. Um, we're, we're rural. We are, we're in the country. And, and a lot of people are now looking for places around us. Our property values have kind of skyrocketed, uh, uh, rocketed a bit because of the COVID. Because people now know that they can work from home and they don't need to be driving into the city, into the big places every day. So they're looking for places further away. I mean, I, I think safety plays a big role in it too. What, you know, it, what does? The safety, because with the Black Lives Matter protests and stuff and uh, breaking all the windows and uh, all the whatever rioting that happened in the big cities and stuff, like Minneapolis and stuff, my cousins that live down there moved to Purim because they, were they, they just were too afraid to be in the city. They didn't want to be in the city anymore. Well, I don't think that's a big problem here, but, but people were leaving leaving the cities to get away from all of the people and so that they can stay um, isolated and for, for health reasons, for health reasons, more than anything else. Oh. And, uh, and, you know, and they could do their work just as well mm -hmm. from the computer in their dining room as they could from the computer in their cubicle. If and they have good internet. If they yeah. have good internet. <laughs> And, and uh, you know, if I was, I know that if we were to ever pack up and say it's time for us to move, my first question to any realtor, how's the internet in this place? <laughs> yeah, you got to remember that one. <laughs> I, it's, it's, I'm telling you, yeah, we are just, we're, we're rural and we could, we're marginal for doing this. Well, um, I want to get away from AT&T. I don't, I don't, I don't like, I hate, I can't, I mean, I don't like AT&T. So I, I would like to find someplace yeah. else, but uh, yeah, that, we, that's, that's irrelevant. We don't have any other choices. Not, not here. You know, in some places you have a choice between three or four different internet providers. We've got AT&T 
we can get Spectrum <clears throat> if we want to pay the ten thousand dollars to have them hook up. They're no good. We've had Spectrum. Actually, AT and T is better for us than Spectrum was. <laughs> well, politically, but, I I can't, I won't. I don't want to support them. Yeah. They support the other guys, so I I don't want anything to do with them. I I hate sending in my payments every month to them. I just it makes me crazy. We're waiting oh. for when Verizon gets 5G, I guess. Is that what we're waiting for, Mark? I don't know. Where <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah, that's what we're waiting for. But that's going to happen in the city. It's not going to happen out in the country. No, actually, not now. actually, our internet did go down once, and I, and I turned my hotspot on my phone because we finally switched to a Verizon carrier on our cell phone. And yeah. with the hotspot, I was getting as good, if not better, than my AT&T internet connection. So, yeah. That's what I'm on right now is Verizon mobile hotspot. And it works just fine most of the time. Like, like when there gets to be too much group activity, sometimes I'll fade in and out. But most yeah. of the time, it's pretty good. Yeah, and we you know we keep we keep we keep ourselves and get that option if we need it, you know. And there's been times when the internet has gone down, and I've had to rely on the hotspot. It was really funny. It was a couple of weeks ago. Our phone line went dead, and so our landline. So I called AT and T, and I said our phone is dead. It's, <laughs> And they said, what phone are you calling from? I said, I'm using a cell phone because your connection is not working. Uh, well, we should test the line. And I said, yeah. <laughs> they tested the line, and by that time, it, whatever it was, it remedied itself, and the, everything started to work again. And they, there's no problem with your line. Okay, goodbye. Uh. Uh. AT&T has been fun. That's enough. Yeah. So, Margaret, how are you doing? You're. She's trying to think. I'm yourself. doing well. <laughs> I'm doing fine. What do they eat for Thanksgiving in Hawaii? I can't imagine you have turkeys. I don't know why, but. Uh, are you in Hawaii I'm, now? I am. I oh, have. Oh, wow. Uh, Five more weeks. Well, four and a half more weeks. Where are you in Hawaii? I'm in Waikiki on Oahu. Do, do you um, have a condo there or something? My parents own a little studio apartment here. And wow. they used to come here for months at a time for many, many years. And um, now they're 97 and stay on the mainland. But I come over when I can. And... Uh, check on the place and enjoy it. So now that's what I'm doing right now. So, wow. Uh, yes. Yeah, so I just got Fourteen in. in Hawaii. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> well, don't you have to stay in your house for 14 days or something with the, uh, in <laughs> June, they had a, the program was where you had to quarantine for 14 days, but as of the end of, October, I believe. I'm not sure the date. But now, if you can have a COVID negative test um, within 72 hours of your flight, then you don't have to quarantine. And there's a special website where you upload your um, result and that sort of thing. And they, when you get to the airport, they screen you. Mm -hmm. And it's really a good and efficient system. It works pretty well. What if you don't go get your test? Do they hunt you down? <laughs> well, wondered. when you you can't really get out of the airport without being screened. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, um, and then what you do is, if you don't have a negative test, you they you have to check in every day to s confirm that you're in your place. Now, granted, you could. I could be over there and say I'm in my place. So it's, it's yeah. sort of an honor system, but um, it's something. And yeah. um, it's working if, pretty well. If you, if you tested um, 
positive they'd probably contact trace everybody on the plane, I would think. Well, that's why you have to have the negative test before you get on. Oh, okay. Well, actually, then, that's not true. Um, yeah, it's true. You have to you have to have a negative test before you get on. Or if you don't, they're testing actually 10% of the people who come off the plane. And any of those who would test positive, they would have to contact trace to the plane hmm. if you didn't have a negative test. So the basic yeah. that swab up your nose? Yeah. Oh, how, how, how does that work? How does that, does it, did it hurt? They or? swabbed my, the way in the back of my throat where you want to gag and cough. And then they put it way, way up high in your nose where you want to kind of gag sneeze. and cough. <laughs> um, and sneeze. Yeah, yeah. It made me sneeze. sneeze like crazy. But it cleared yeah. up my sinuses really good. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. But it was quick. Yeah, yeah it's it quick. Wasn't... It's not that bad. No, it's not. People it's make, really make not. a big deal about it. They say, oh, it feels like they're going up in your brain, you know. Right. It's not like that. It's not like pissing a frog. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like pissing a frog. I got to the point where I could not do another. And I told the teacher, this is ridiculous. We know the outcome. Why are we doing this to these poor frogs? I cannot do <laughs> you it. You remember that. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I do. I, I rebelled. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's great that you're in Hawaii. They apparently are the only state that's not surging, according to what I read in the news. Well, that's because um, of the sun. Doesn't the sun kill COVID? No, no. <laughs> no. What other what other uh, fake news you're going to tell us, down, Alex, from Minnesota? Yeah, you listen to what other Trump won the election. Oh right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you wanted more, so there you go. <laughs> oh well, he, he listens to that Canadian broadcast company. <laughs> Lordy, lordy. I actually called my um, one of one of my senators. I meant to call the other one because, you know, we got these wonderful senators here in Texas. And I said, you know, lucky. you need to get in there all Republican. You need to get on, you know, this guy because, you know, we're we're all suffering because of this. And this is a you know health crisis and he's not doesn't have the access to, you know, Biden doesn't have, you know, I, but, you know, it just falls on deaf ears here. I mean, it's so yeah. weird. But anyway. Oh, Momo. Well, we just had some people get COVID-19 in our nursing home and they all lived. So it was, I don't know if it was by the grace of God or what, but they're like 90 years old and struggling to live anyway. And they all suffered right through COVID. So. Wow. That's great. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. It's better than dying. Yeah. yeah. Good. Good. Wow. Well, that's the thing. You know, I it's it, I think that uh people are I don't know what's happening. I mean, because it's like uh everybody's going stir crazy. And I think just people and and it does seem some ways that less people are dying from it maybe because they're getting better at treating it mm. that's the thing yeah i think that's a big part of it yeah yeah i've had eight months experience with it right yeah right <laughs> so we'll see well we're we're gonna hang out here for sure we were planning on going to new mexico but we're not now i don't really want to go but <laughs> but we're definitely not going now. If you were going into New Mexico, where do you go? You well, said New we Mexico? Were, yeah, New Mexico. We were going to go. We have family in two different places there. And neither one of the, none of the family would care. They, they you know, they don't oh, I care. Just, they think yeah, it's all have, a hoax. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. But I have a really good friend in uh, Las Cruces. Oh yeah, yeah. We went, we um we go to Clovis, which is north in oh, Albuquerque. Oh, I know where area. that is. Yeah, yeah. Go to Albuquerque area. Um, yeah, but it's a long drive from where we're at, and uh, isn't it nice? You don't have to do it. You can stay Pardon? home. Isn't it nice? You don't have to do it. You can yeah. stay home. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't mind, but uh, but for me, it's a little bit like I'm. Uh, you know, part part of the reason I need to go is I need to help. My mom's estate is not settled, and I'm sort of uh, like sticking my head in the sand by not going. But yeah, it's not a. It doesn't get easier to just ignore it, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna keep ignoring it for a little while longer, I guess. <laughs> anyway, yeah. well, I'm gonna it. sign off. Yeah, so I'm ready. It's to great go. to see you guys. You Hi, have Beth. a great Thanksgiving. Bye, Hope to see Bye, you soon. Bye, yeah. Bye, Beverly. Nice to see you. Bye, bye. Thanks. It was one <clears throat> wonderful this evening. Very deep. Very beautiful. Did yes. you? Do you? Um, who who's going to be on for your group? Um, this weekend. This is the long meditation. Oh, okay. All right. Somehow, yeah, we figured yeah. <clears throat> we'll do. We'll, uh, we'll oh, Beverly it. left too. I didn't know she was leaving. Yeah. Oh, okay. I heard her say goodbye. So, yeah, long meditation this Sunday, and then next, and then the Sunday follow, following is the the kirtan because it's the fifth Sunday. Yeah. So, Sounds good. So well, you have a then, you have a really nice group. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, visiting. You know popping in. I feel very shy when I come to other things. You know, I'm not a shy person, as you know, but I feel very shy when I go to other Zoom events. And, uh, but I, I enjoyed it. And um, anyway, your group seems very engaged. <laughs> they do. They seem very engaged. That's a real blessing. We're all, we all, st we're all very, very, um, dedicated to keeping it going you know the, yeah uh losing the center the building but we didn't lose the group you know the sangha yeah. is still together so it's and people are popping out as you probably have discovered people are popping out of the woodwork that we haven't seen for a long time who for whatever reason couldn't or didn't want to come in in person or uh, will show up on a zoom call it's like yeah this is awesome well we had so like you you saw that there was someone a friend of ours um popped up when we hadn't seen for years and years oh yeah that's Greg. great Greg. yeah it was really cool yeah we do get people pop in and in here and there and stuff and and it is wonderful i i have to say though that um i think our group you know i don't know they just uh it's it's there maybe zoom fatigue or whatever we're just having a hard time i don't feel that connected to a lot of people now because they just not coming on and if they come on they don't, they don't really engage you know i don't know there's it's sort of odd so i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen wasn't it sweet tonight though that asha popped in yeah I couldn't believe that. I thought somebody must be using her computer. Or I was just like, and then I, I felt, uh, I don't know. It just made me a little nervous or something. It was sort of weird. I don't know why, but She's and a I was like, yeah, yeah. But it was so sweet because, you know, yeah. that just doesn't happen. It's sort of nice when people do that, you know. I think I think because of Keshava. Yeah, she's yeah. very aware of what, what he's doing, and so she probably went, "Oh, well, maybe I should check out what here's what he's doing." Alex, yeah. have you ever met Asha in person? No. <laughs> you, you will, will though, because you, you <laughs> when she comes down here, you'll get a fly down here mm -hmm. and meet her. I'm oh, not gonna you fly. I'm gonna drive. Are you driving? <laughs> That's what you're gonna do? I would not. I'm not gonna fly ever again, probably. Right? Not unless I own the plane. Why is that? 
I just don't trust it. I just don't trust it. I don't know. I just saw in the news today they have the National Guard at LaGuardia Airport checking people over and tracking everybody's movements and where they were going and who they were going to go see. And I just, I don't know, something just, it pushes me all the wrong buttons or whatever. I don't want the government knowing where I'm going or what I'm doing or I mean, they do anyway, probably with my cell phone, but I just don't like all that extra, you know, oversight. It's like, have you ever read George Orwell's 1984? I feel like we're kind of moving into that totalitarian dictatorship or whatever. I don't know, but it just really bothers me. We voted him out. (laughs) Yeah, we voted him out. (laughs) Yeah. He tried. He's working on it still. He won't give up. That's what he wants. (laughs) Jack. So I'll probably I'll probably fly down there in my car. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was really sweet. Drones but big enough. My, I felt bad. My ego got tweaked because when I brought us out of meditation, I screwed up my my uh, song. <laughs> I thought, oh, I hope Asha's not still on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? I'm, I'm notorious for screwing up when I chant. I, I make everybody feel good because I always, Oh, what do you want? My son is staring at me. What do you want? What? Come tell it's me what you want. Come on. Oh, Kyle, Get on. Him. We want to meet him. We want to meet him. Have you not him. met him? Come here. Come meet Alex. And I think Sam and Pam. Have from all the way from Minnesota. Minnesota. This, is, this is my guy. Oh, Isn't hello there. Handsome? You're a very lucky young man. Yeah, very handsome. Mm-hmm. He's, he needs uh, to get out and get some sun. He's looking kind of white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's he, he he doesn't he um he's one of those kind that burns. <laughs> oh. oh. But he doesn't get out that much, you know. Beautiful out, but he's in school. Isn't he a stuff. swimmer? What? Isn't he a swimmer? Yeah, he's a swimmer. Does he swim? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, he's all like chlorine in the water. It bleaches him. That's, That's right. It bleaches him out. It bleaches him. Yeah. 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 I like that. I could wear C2. So he's he's kind of PEF protected from the COVID. At least he's got the bleach on the outside. Right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you could swallow some of He's been back in school and it's- Are you- Go ahead. Oh, I was just wondering if they were still having it in person. In Minnesota, they just put, they just issued like a three week lockdown where everything's gotta be distance learning and the governor's going crazy because the numbers are up and oh gosh, everybody's all frantic. I know, I know. Well, we're in Texas. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we're- we're real like freedom lovers here, you know. We're the we're we're rebels. Anyway, sure. they're not they're not doing it yet, but the numbers are really pretty high. I think that they're, you know, we've got a week off of school right now for oh. Thanksgiving, so they're gonna see what happens in this next week. But he's been back since um he's been in school. He was back in person since uh end of September, and it really does make a difference in terms of their morale you know i know it's yeah. it's hard for the teachers really hard but it's i don't know how you could do it otherwise so it's it's what I was feel, your son's I really, name again galen galen, galen. all yeah. right cool so he's he's working on a um he's in a he wants to go to film school and he's he was in a magnet at school that does film and stuff and he's working on a documentary on this place in Texas, a town in Texas, one of these wonderful towns that, when, when, when did that happen, Galen? 1919. 1919, they, what'd they do? Tell us. There was a race riot. There was a race riot and they, they what did they do? Come tell. In, in, in Texas? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In Texas, they, they do a lot of that stuff here. They lynched a black dude. Someone wrote an article on it. 
they went to go get him to lynch him and they oh. didn't succeed in that and they also tried to lynch the doctor who was trying to help the guy who because he was getting like beaten up right they didn't actually know if it was him they were just guessing how many people died there's only one and that was kind of from the scuffle between the two oh. like it was kind of a smaller black mob and there was like a huge white mob trying to lynch them anyway they had to run out of town and they burn down their houses they burned down houses they burned down their houses oh. and some other ones and businesses apparently so anyway he's doing a little documentary on that oh, fun. but there was, nice. there was there was another town in texas that they burned completely down and killed you know Here's they think they only recorded mm -hmm. they killed a, a a dozen or so uh blacks but they actually think that they killed a lot more than that it, texas is a wonderful place <laughs> it's got great well, history <laughs> well it was in 1919 when when they had that big uh race problem in um uh, tulsa oklahoma yeah yeah that was the, it's part of the black red call it the red summer because this was same same time frame right after the great pandemic of 1918. what's that there was the great pandemic the uh spanish flu in 1918 and so maybe this I wonder is what the planets were doing then i wonder if the planets were all messed up then too yeah it's interesting that that what, what you pointed out though sam is that that happened right after that and so and we have in this kind of similar energy now yeah whoa okay i'm leaving now <laughs> <laughs> on that note okay in I, the think, land I, I think i'm ready to go through. my dreams <laughs> oh, yeah. i'm gonna go to the land beyond my dreams now all okay. right well so um maybe we'll see well, you guys on Sunday. Sunday. yeah yeah i'll see you then and and do i would love it if you guys felt to be involved with that um that evening of remembrance yeah, um, yeah. i'll send out idea. more details about that uh, probably tomorrow I, like I just it got it lot. together sort of today and threw it in the newsletter and it's I don't know if it's actually on the web yet, but it, it will be soon if it's not. I think it might be. But anyway, all right. Well, you guys have a great evening. Thank you so much. It was always, it's always great. Great to see you. OK, bye bye. Stay warm, stay healthy, wash your hands. Yeah, put your mask on when you go out in public. That's right. Drink some bleach. <laughs>